Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and wanted to create another video to show you how to implement uh, the live chat functionality on your website uh, and just to go over a few settings. So um, the, the live chat, just to clarify, is basically this small box on the bottom which you can actually chat with, with customer support. It's really, really nice. It's a nice feature to have on your website so people can contact you. Um, as you know, you know, with the internet and, and, and time, people have less and less patience. So people don't want to wait for an email or sometimes people don't want to make a phone call. So having a live chat functionality box on your website is perfect. Um, the one we use with our clients is Live Chat Inc. Uh, we're not associated with them and I actually haven't tried uh, any of the other ones. But this, this from our research a while back seemed to be the best one. We use it. We're happy with it. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about it. So a uh, very nice way of functionality. It has a lot of different features, and we can kind of go into a few of them right here. So I'm going to log in with one of our users. Okay. And also you see the pricing. Um, basically for this site, it's a, around $40 per user. Um, so if you have multi uh, per agent, sorry, if you have multiple people that service, it would be times that, and then you could probably find coupons and whatever. Okay, so uh, now we're logged in. You have this kind of dashboard on the top, um, so you can have your current chats. You, you have a list of your uh, visitors that came to the website, archives of chats that we've had, and I don't want to show show names or any any chats uh, and what was spoken and and what happened. Uh, the agents, um, which you actually. Uh, have and you should always include an image. I know even though I give this advice and we didn't do it, but I do need to include and update our images. Uh, so it's more friendly when someone clicks on a, a, a box then people can see you know who they're dealing with. If people feel more comfortable to see a picture of you. Very good thing to do and, and you know uh, uh, we, we should change it. So um, and then you also have reports and, and the thumbs up and what's happening and missed chats and some, some good analytics. So um, what I wanted to show you really is the settings page, how you customize the actual box and, and then add some nice functionality. So uh, on the left hand side you have your, your uh, tabs and we'll go one by one. So uh, this is related to how the chat window looks. So you can pick your color uh, or customize it based on, on uh, some of your own CSS. Um, so let's just keep the color this way. Uh, you always want to add some small boxes like your Google Plus, uh, a plus one, so maybe your website name. Let's see here. Okay, and you see it placed a plus one right here. So just kind of give a, an extra kind of a, a help for social. Uh, you want to add your Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you probably want to add or you, a, a, the image of your um, agent. Uh, maybe a logo or not. Uh, we don't really like putting the logo because then it really stuffs up the area too much. It's too full. Um, and and obviously you need to click on save changes for anything. So you have features like uh, greetings, um, which says here greetings is displayed to all visitors browsing on the website for more than 20 seconds. Um, the reason we uh, um, didn't do this is because sometimes it bugs people too much and uh, depending on the site you may want to push your uh, live chat more or less and you can also set up kind of these uh, other uh, kinds of uh, types of greeting mainly with code so you can really do some interesting work or specific pages that people land on it's, it's pretty pretty good feature and you have to think about exactly what you where you want to use it and not to bug your visitors so you know returning visitors is a nice one I like specific pages and very specific tagging of of, a, of your visitors, so you don't bug them, and you really find the people that help. Maybe people use the search box, people that view FAQ pages more than a few FAQ pages, et cetera, et cetera. You can kind of get your own ideas. So uh, next thing is the eye catcher. Uh, it works for some some clients. Some it's really too pushy, but it's it's kind of an interesting feature. So if I click on it, this is our box. If I click on it, it'll add some kind of image above. It really takes. Uh, uh, attention of people brings uh, attention to that direction, and of course, I like to kind of add a custom picture, maybe something relevant. So it really gives more space for people to notice that oh, you, just like they note, just like they note here, we are here. Um, language, of course, you can set up different customization of 
what you want the headers to be and what you want the messages to be. Very, very important, of course. Uh, uh, language is changing. I haven't done that, but that's an interesting uh, thing to, to look at as well. A, a pre-chat survey, post-chat survey. I don't know why you'd want pre-chat surveys, but post-chat surveys could be interesting. You know, how did you like? What could we help? What, what a, uh, and on and on, just having stuff. Um, queued visitors, what to display if there's too many people waiting. Uh, and of course, after hours, when you don't have any representatives, what do you want to display? What do you want to mention? Uh, very, very important. Um, so that's, that's basically it for the chat window. Let's go on to the work improvements. Here you can specify some extra uh, information like canned responses. These, um, uh, uh, maybe, um, how do I say this? Templates of, of text that, these are templates of text that you want to prepare that may come up again and again that you don't want to retype from scratch. You can just, uh, just click on add this response, kind of making these templates of, uh, um, I'm sorry, you know, you didn't have, it, you couldn't find this, or a uh, response to, uh, basically an answer to a question that pe more and more people have all the time. So kind of have, have this information. Pretty, pretty interesting uh, to use this. Uh, notifications you can have, of course, and uh, shortcuts and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to move forward. You can play around. Not too interesting, but you should go one by one. Uh, the next thing are integrations, basically adding on new add-on apps. I haven't used this, so I'm going to skip it as well. It could be interesting, but for, the, for now, the um, main functionality works very, very nice. Okay, and then the last one is just the installation. So uh, the code you have to include on all of your pages right before the end of the body tag, of course. Uh, just put it in, and it works. So um, that, that's basically it. So you have also tutorials how to implement it as well. So uh, that's kind of the overview, and you can see on our website that we did implement it, and uh, works great. If you have any questions, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, ask us anything on the YouTube comments, and we'll be happy to help, and uh, thank you very much for listening to our video today.